I had always dreamt of visiting Palmio, a place tucked away in the remote corners of East New Britain, renowned for its pristine beauty and captivating landscapes. It was a destination that had long been on my bucket list, and finally in December 2023, my dream was about to come true. I could barely contain my excitement as I prepared for this adventure, a journey that would take me to one of the most picturesque parts of Papua New Guinea. The journey began on a Sunday afternoon. My colleague and I boarded a flight from Port Moresby to Tokua Rabul. The anticipation was electric as we touched down, knowing that Palmio was only a few days away. We checked in at Kokopo Village Resort, a cozy place that would serve as our base for the next few days. While waiting for our colleagues from Fiji and the UK, we spent Monday organizing the logistics for the trip. A local shipping line, MV Pomio, was arranged for our voyage from Kokopo to Pomio, and everything was falling into place. When our colleagues finally arrived we decided to explore Rabul, taking in the rich history of the place. Our first stop was the famous Yamamoto's Bunker, a relic from World War II. Stepping inside the bunker felt like walking into a forgotten chapter of history. The walls still bore Japanese writings, and in some rooms, maps of the region were etched into the ceiling. I couldn't help but wonder how much time Yamamoto, one of Japan's most famous war strategists, must have spent here in the final phase of his life. Our guide led us to another building filled with war memorabilia. Inside we were greeted by displays of wrecked warplanes, photographs, and the original Japanese surrender documents that ended World War II in Papua New Guinea. It was a humbling experience standing amidst history, imagining the weight of those moments. Afterward we journeyed south to visit the famous Megapode Egg Hunters. The landscape was otherworldly, steam rose from the hot springs while the rugged beauty of the volcano loomed above us. It was a perfect prelude to the adventure that lay ahead. That same afternoon we finally boarded MV Pamio at 6pm setting sail for Pamio. It was my first time on a ship and I was captivated by the peacefulness of the sea. The darkness of the night, illuminated only by the stars, was mesmerizing. I stayed awake, gazing at the vast starlit sky until exhaustion claimed me. Waking up on the ship's deck the next morning was surreal. The early morning sun cast golden hues over the water and the sea views were breathtaking as we approached Palmo Mall, our destination. We arrived at 11 a.m., and the first thing that struck me was how untouched and beautiful the coastline was. The next three days in Palmio were both rewarding and challenging. While rain disrupted many of our plans to explore the area, it didn't dampen the spirit of our mission. Our purpose was clear, to conduct a landscape assessment for a conservation program with the Palmio District Development Authority. Despite the weather, our work was a success. The local mothers welcomed us warmly to their guest house, where we spent the evenings sharing stories with them. Their kindness and hospitality added a special touch to our experience, reminding me of the beauty of community spirit in these remote regions. When our work was done, it was time to head back to Kokopo. The return journey, however, would prove to be an adventure in itself. We left Palmo Mall at 7 a.m., boarding a small boat for what would become the longest boat trip of my life. The wide bay we had to cross was immense, so vast that we couldn't see the other side. The sea was rough, but our skipper was experienced and knew the waters well. Despite the challenges, I felt safe in his capable hands. It was a grueling journey with the boat rocking on the swells for nearly 10 hours. By the time we reached the shores of Kokopo at 5 p.m. I was exhausted but grateful for the experience. That trip to Palmio was a dream fulfilled, a journey filled with adventure, history, and a deep connection to the land and its people. Though the rain had limited our exploration, the memories of the sea, the warmth of the Palmio community, and the triumph of completing our conservation work left an indelible mark on my heart. Palmio, with its rugged beauty and hidden treasures, will always hold a special place in my memories.